Good morning from Santa Bell. Good morning, good morning. How is everyone? I hope everybody is doing wonderful. I am doing wonderful. Awesome, awesome. Let me just click over to Facebook real quick. Make sure everything is going well here. Good, good, good. Let me know if you can hear me. I am traveling. So, um, welcome from Sanibel. Um, good morning, friends. It is Monday. It's a fresh week. Haven't recovered from it. I'm sure it was a long day for you. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, welcome. Thank you for joining me this morning. I love being here to share with you again about essential oils, everything, low toxic living, all the gist. You know, you know, you know what I do, right? If you are new to my classes, welcome. If you are brand new, um, welcome. If you have been here for a while and from day one, thank you. We have Facebook, we have Zoom, we have Instagram, all the things. If you can't hear me, please let me know. I'm pretty sure everything is up and running. So, I started virtual education in 2018, so you have some binging to do. You can always catch the replay up on my YouTube. This will be added to my edu educational archive um, when we are finished. So, um, you can just search youtube.com, search my name, subscribe, and you will be notified of all the new content, and you'll be able to um, see my current classes, future classes when they're updated, um, all my past classes that I've ever had in episodes, all the doTERRA updates and promotions, all the good stuff there. So the link is also in my Instagram bio. Let me know if you're here live, say hi where you're watching from, catching the replay, like, comment, and sh please share this um, video with, uh, that would be amazing and it would be um, wonderful to support me if you shared this on the feed. However you can, tag your friends and family if it would be something that they would be interested in um, learning about. So, my name is Lindsay Aya Marino. I am an essential, uh, certified essential oil specialist, global team leader, and aromatouch practitioner with doTERRA International. I want to chat with you today about um, any new essential oil users out there or potential new users. So this is gonna be for you. Um, we're gonna go back to the basics and we're gonna talk about the ABCs of essential oils. Some people don't really understand what they are and they're like, Lindsay, what are, what are these oils that you got going around and you know, you're using and you're putting in your drink and you're like, well, what is all this stuff? So we're gonna talk about what they are, where they come from, how they're made, um, how to use them, um, how they are safe and effective for our families and how affordable they are and how you can bring them into your home. A lot of hows. All, all the who, what, when, where, why's, right? So let's start with um, what an essential really is. And essential, essential oils are volatile compounds. They're pure liquid extracts from a plant, a tree, a bark, um, a leaf, um, a flower, a root, or a citrus. It's gonna come from the rind. And um, the most common, they're most commonly made by cold pressed and steam distilled. I always do this when I say cold pressed for some reason, I don't know why. They have therapeutic uh, properties and can support wellness and soothe many concerns. So they're 100% plant derived with no additional processing, no preservatives, fillers, and other ingredients. And quality is everything. So when you're purchasing, purchasing an essential oil, not all of them are equal. So if you are in a store and you're seeing all these places jump on the bandwagon of um, selling essential oils like Casca, Walmart, Amazon, please don't purchase on Amazon. Don't hurt my oily heart. Um, doTERRA does not sell on Amazon. People do. Um, so you do not want to purchase your, your essential oils that way um, or in a health food stores or any other stores because it's a billion dollar industry, okay? And they're most, um, it's a billion dollar industry and everybody wants a bite. So did you know that 95 to 90% of all essential oils on the market are not pure? Yes, we are in that two to three percentile, two to five percent percentile of being pure essential oils and we can back it up. No matter what the labels say, companies can, um, oils are not regulated, so companies can put one or two, you know, 
drops of pure essential oil in a bottle and then fill it with artificial fragrances, fillers, synthetic fragrances, and then it's not actually pure. So when you're looking to have a natural alternative and you're going into a store and you're like, hmm, I want to use some tea tree or some lavender. Um, well, why isn't the lemon and the lavender um, not for internal use? You should be able to eat lemon, right? Um, it's because it's not a pure essential oil and what they, you think is going to be um, non-toxic or a natural alternative actually does the opposite because it's got all the synthetic fragrances and the artificial fragrances in there so it's going to disrupt your hormone system it's going to disrupt your endocrine system and that's the whole point of why I do what it is that I do and share the difference the doTERRA difference of the essential oils to the oils that are on the market these days where everybody's just jumping on the bandwagon so you want to trust a really good essential oil like doTERRA choose from a trusted company we have a certified therapeutic grade um, uh, label that literally CPTG grade, certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils. And they go through vigorous testing to make sure that what is being sourced and farmed is 100% from the plant with no adulteration right to the consumer. So what you guys get is right from the plant. Um, so a few reasons why we should love essential oils. They're natural and safe, effective, and have therapeutic benefits without any side effects. Um, it's a natural alternative or a remedy to chemical-filled products. Um, it's a, an effective way to address any type of root cause of a health problem. Um, they are affordable, okay? It's a $6.5 trillion a year is spent on global health care. These are priced per drop, so don't get overwhelmed with one lavender that may be twenty dollars wholesale it's price per drop you only need a drop or two so you're making a little investment in your health okay so it's an easy solution that you can access from um access from uh keeping them right in your own home you could just grab and go and have your own little um health uh, your own what's it called healthy plant-based medicine cabinet in your own home so um and like I said, they're pennies per drop with fast results. So fast that when you're inhaling an essential oil, it's gonna go through the limbic system right in here. I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, olfactory, um, and then into the limbic system, which is the part of your brain that um, helps you make decisions and supports emotions. So essential oils are very concentrated, so a little goes a long way. One drop or two is enough for a topical or dietary use. And it takes about 45 lemon rinds to make one bottle. So super, super, super concentrated. And um, a little goes a long way. And it takes uh, one drop of peppermint, equates medicinally to um, 28 cups of peppermint tea. So it's super, super concentrated. A little goes a long way. You don't need to, um, you know, pour them on. You don't wanna do that. These are super concentrated. So there's three ways that you can use your essential oils aromatically, topically, and internally. Yes, you can take our oils internally. Um, aromatically is in a diffuser or just inhalation right from the bottle, or you can place one drop in your palm and you can rub them together, heat them up, and then cup over your nose and mouth and just take some deep inhalations. And what that's going to do, olfactory, right to the limbic system, it's gonna relax, calm, uplift, ease, uh, anxious feelings, ease digestion, whatever it is that you're you're needing, there's an oil literally for everything. So that's where I come in and play and, and help you out and, and help teach you what your specific need is and I help teach you what oil can help support that specific need. So next is topically. So um, you can place top, uh, topical oils in a roller bottle, which I have here. And you wanna blend your oils with a carrier oil. The most common in um, carrier oil is fractionated coconut oil. It's just fractionated, it's coconut oil that goes through a fractionation process. They take out all the fatty acids and lipids and the smell of coconut oil and it always stays in a liquid form. We like this because you don't wanna use a carrier oil a lot often that has a smell to it when it's, um, when you're, when blending with essential oils because you already have that scent and you don't want to have too many scents. But you can use anything like jojoba, grapeseed, olive oil. If you're in the kitchen and you get, you know, something, you can just grab some olive oil. You could really use anything. But this is mostly non, um, the non-greasiest as well as it's a carrier oil. So it's going to actually help the, uh, carry the oils into the bloodstream. So that's why we use, use um, 
carrier oils. People were like, oh, well, you're diluting the oils. It's not going to lessen the intensity of the essential oil. So now we know a little bit about topically. Third way is um, internally. So you can actually ingest the essential oils for a medicinal purpose. Um, you can use your oils like citrus in your water or peppermint or spearmint. Um, you can place a couple drops of, of oil in a vegetable capsule and down the chute, really easy to ease digestion, detoxify, and you can just use your oils internally that way as well. If you don't like the taste of any of the essential oils, in a veggie cap would be the best. Or if you um, are um, knowledgeable of our lifelong vitality supplements, those are also infused with essential oils. And we also have a couple of other plant-based essential oils as well. It's 11-11, y'all. Make a wish. I'm always going to do that. So, um, no, I just squirreled myself <laughs> in a veggie cap or some of our plant-based uh, supplements are infused with essential oils as well. You can also cook with your essential oils, which is awesome. Just a smidge though. Um, there's different recipes for different oils. Um, the difference between internally and non-internal, I just want to show you real quick. I don't know where my breeze went. Please hold. There it is. So, an oil that has a supplement facts label on it, it's going to have a little food grade label, right? That's safe for internal use. If it doesn't have that, it's for aromatic and topical use. Sorry, I'm showing all three screens here. Um, so though that's just the difference. Um, I've actually taken uh, Breathe internally, accidentally, thinking it was peppermint. Don't do that, but I'm still here. <laughs> um, so there are oils made for internal and non-internal use. So when you take your oils internally, you can um, use them how like to ease digestion, to support your immune system, to help your sleep. Um, so many ways of how to use your oils internally, medicinally, and calm anxious feelings, help inflammation. I mean, tons of ways. We're going to go through the top 10 oils that um, basically can take care of 80% of your health and wellness. So, some safety tips. Citrus oils. You don't want to put citrus oils and then go right out into the sun. They're photosensitive, so wait about 12 hours to go directly in the sun. Also, you want to keep them out of your ears, nose, and your mouth. If you do get some oils in the in the ears, I mean in the in the eyes, and it starts to be bothersome, you can dilute it with fra with fractionated coconut oil or a carrier oil that will lessen the intensity. Don't go to water because oil and water don't mix. It's going to intensify it more, so you don't want to do that. Um, let's see. There are specific dilution ratios uh, for children. I like one percent uh, from ages two to six, one to three percent. Um, and up and then three to five percent depending on like the degree of the ailment or the acuteness of the actual issue. Uh, when you get started we'll go over all of that and how to make a roller bottle specific for your baby or your toddler or yourself or your parents, you never know. Um, there's all different types of dilution ratios for what issue it is and who it's for. So now that we have some knowledge that we just dropped on you, uh, let's talk about 80 per, like let's talk about the oils that can support 80% of your health and wellness. It's our top 10 oils. We're going to start with lemon. Lemon is an internal oil. You can use it internally, aromatically, and topically. I don't really use it topically that much, but you can. I've heard that it would help some under eye darkness. Um, it's very refreshing and purifying, in, both inside and out. It's naturally detoxifying when you're taking it internally. Also soothes the um, digestion. Uh, when you're putting it in your water, you can place, I don't think I have my water bottle close because I literally just got out of the car and wanted to make sure that I was on time ready for you guys. But you can place a drop in water in glass, ceramic, or stainless steel and um, it detoxifies the body from the inside out. It's good for stinky shoes. You can put it in, it defuncts anything. A trash can, stinky shoes, garbage disposal. It's very, very um, good as a natural degreaser, so it's great for cleaning. You can get any type of sticky goo gone. You know, it's kind of like the natural goo gone. Uh, kids think that they're artists. They want to draw on the walls. It'll take it off. Um, Sharpie, little elbow grease, I swear it'll take it off. Gum in the hair, stickers everywhere. Lemon does so many different things that are so versatile. Um, 
that's why they've methodically put these together. There's a, one oil can do several different things, which is really cool. Um, you can also um, put a couple of drops on a spoonful of honey not when you have like um, a throat irritation. So lavender is all things calming, soothing, and relaxing. It is my gateway oil, if you don't know. Um, I hel it helped me to um, stop taking um, heavy prescriptions in 2016. That's how I got introduced to essential oils. Changed my life. Heavy sleep aids, um, prescriptions for anti, um, for anxious feelings, prescriptions for pain and inflammation, skin irritation, I mean everything you could possibly imagine. Um, and lavender did that for me. So I like to put a drop in my nighttime tea at night. It really helps with sleep. You can diffuse it. You can place a drop in your tea because it is safe for internal use. Um, you can place it on the bottoms of your feet, on your temples. It eases muscle tension, uh, helps you sleep, helps you calm down. It's just all things calming. And um, I love it. I like to keep it close into the kitchen as well. If you're burning or cooking and you burn yourself, it'll scorch and it, um, it literally will take the sting, sting out too. So next we're going to talk about peppermint, another staple that I love to use. It is also internal. You can take it internally for digestion, upset stomach, cooling of the body for any type of fee, uh, fatigue and energy. Um, you can uh, diffuse it aromatically to help with focus and uh, clear breathing. You can also um, apply it topically to bring down a bo high body temperature. Tons of different ways that you can use peppermint. My favorite way. Whew, it's so strong. It's like a breath refresher. It clears up all the sinuses and it will help wake you up. So I love to take a palm balm of peppermint and just and even the fumes from my breath just breathing it in it helps with fatigue if you're having that afternoon slump oh uh, what else so much stuff for peppermint but it helps to bring down a um, child's high body temperature naturally if you put it in a roller bottle up and down the spine um so many great things that peppermint can do i always keep them with me tea tree is our next next essential oil we're gonna talk about all things cleansing to the skin, to surfaces. Um, helps um, with like a dry scalp if you have that. You can put this in your shampoo. Um, you can place a drop um, in your kid's shampoo as a proactive protocol to keep lice away. And it's really, I know that's not what, what we really want to keep away in school right now if your kids are actually going back to school, but it does help with that. Um, it's great for blem blemishes too. Like it's like a little zit zapper. I'll put like just a smidge, like not even a whole drop. You just go like this, you just go like that. And I know I had a little bit that was like bothering me, like just a couple of bumps, not a lot. And it just literally, it like dries it up in like 2.5 seconds, literally overnight, not 2.5 seconds, but uh, I call it the zit zapper. I like to put it in my moisturizer or my toner so good cleansing to the skin. My skin irritations that I would have from my creams, my prescription creams that I used to be on, I don't need that anymore, I got tea tree. And when you place it with a fractionated coconut oil, you get more of a surface area, and you just, um, it helps to um, clear the skin up, oh, so good. Next I wanna talk about is oregano. My feet are falling asleep, so I'm gonna put my feet back under here because I'm not gonna feel them soon. Okay. So oregano is up next. Oregano is like the heavy hitter of the immune system. It's high in antioxidants. You're not gonna use it every, all the time, but when you need it, you're gonna love that you have it in your arsenal. Um, high in antioxidants, you always wanna make sure to take it in a vegetable capsule or dilute in a roller bottle. Reason being is that it is a hot oil. So it's very spicy, it's an herbaceous oil. It comes from the oregano plant, right? So you don't wanna put it right into your mouth or right onto your skin from the bottle, always dilute or in a veggie capsule. It will help to support your immune system. If you're feeling cut like you're coming down with something, anything like that, it's great. And you can also cook with it too. So you can do um, a toothpick swirl, not a whole drop because you will mess up your sauce, but you can do a toothpick swirl on any of your sauces, so good. What I mean by that is there's a little circle orifice that you can put a toothpick right in and then you swirl right in your food. Awesome, awesome. Whew. It's powerful. It's powerful stuff. Next I want to talk about is frankincense. King of oils. Ah, it's 
good enough for baby Jesus, it's good enough for me, right? So this is gonna help support you on a cellular level. And you can take it internally in a veggie cap. You can put it a drop right underneath your tongue. Kind of tastes like a tree, but it's not horrible. I, that's what I do to help support my cellular uh, support every single day. Anti-aging properties. Stick this bad boy in, it, uh, in your moisturizer, all over your face, neck, ladies. Don't forget the decollete, back of the hands, and the elbows. Okay? That's how we age. Not to sound vain or anything, but I want to look youthful forever. Frankincense youthful forever for real so um it's going to support inflammation as well so it helps to support inflammation and is really calming it has a calming aroma uh, when you think of the frankincense tree you think of something rooted and grounded so it's great for meditation you can put it on the bottoms of your feet and on your crown chakra and take some deep inhales <gasps> i love it you'll never meditate the same you'll be like wah 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 <laughs> um so the next i want to talk about is on guard on Guard is our protective blend, and it's got um, several different oils in here to help support your immune system on, um, yeah, it's on a protective level. So like it's a proactive oil that you want to use, something On Guard, you could put make a spray out of it, you can put it in a vegetable capsule and take it internally, you could diffuse it in, in the air. When you diffuse, everybody gets the benefits. So On Guard is really good for that. It smells like the holidays. It's really good to support your um, energetic boundaries. It's the oil of energetic boundaries. It's so good. So you can put it up and down the spine in a roller. Use it all the ways that you can have it. So it's ba basically like a superpower oil. It's my favorite. Well, they're all my favorite. I can't choose one. Don't make me. So Digest Zen. This baby stays with me when I travel all the time. I'm not out yet, but I do use it all the time. It's our digestive blend. It's a blend of oils that helps to support your digestion, nausea, upset stomach, anything like that. Indigestion, your GI tract, helps with um, healthy digestive support. So also with motion sickness, plane, trains, automobiles, anything like that, it helps to support that. Roller coasters, always on roller coasters these days with my Maddie girl and helps me out a ton if I'm feeling a little woozy. Um, you're good to go with this thing. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I, I It tastes like, oh, it smells like fennel. I mean, it smells like black licorice because it has fennel in it. And I didn't really like the smell of it in the, when I first got it, but now I love it. I'll put it right in my water if I'm having like a digestive icky day and I'll just drink my water and I'm feeling 10 times better. Also, when I changed my diet um, four years ago um, with going somewhat vegan, I stopped with dairy and then I stopped with meats. I didn't know really what I was doing and I was learning. So when you go to raw vegetables and you change your diet, you're changing your digestive system as well. My stomach was like out to here and it was so bloated because I was eating raw veggies and I had no idea what I was doing, right? And they say your your digestive system will change. It, will, it won't go back to normal with, for like, I don't know, 30 days or something like that. It took 72 hours for my digestive system to go back to normal to where I could actually eat and feel comfortable. So I was really, really um, blessed to be able to have digest then. It saved my tummy, literally. The last two we're gonna talk about are non-internal oils and how we know that, like I said before, they do not have the, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. they do not have the supplement facts label. So it's not um, meant to be used internally, it's meant to be used aromatically and topical. And that's the Breathe Respiratory Blend and Deep Blue, the Soothing Blend. So Breathe is our respiratory blend, all things respiratory. If you're feeling any type of um, seasonal um, threats, um, dogs, pollens, pet dust, season changes, anything like that, you can place underneath your eyes, up over your eyebrows, up underneath of your nose, stuff like that. And you can diffuse it at night. It helps noisy sleepers at night. So you can put that on the bottom of the big toe of the noisy sleeper. Stick some breathe in the diffuser and it's night night lights out. Put some lavender in there to help calming and then some on guard to support your immune system. That's like the triple trifecta blend right there. So all things respiratory. And I use it proactively every time um, before I work out. I place some on my chest, back of the neck, and I take some deep inhales of breathe before I do any type of exercise every morning. Because I, I work out Monday through Friday, um, travel, 
if, if I'm not traveling, which I will be working out with my girl later. You'll see, you'll see, because we're here together. So, Deep Blue is our soothing blend. Massage in a bottle. Cannot take it internally. Only comes in a smaller bottle, which is totally cool, because it's got some heavy hitters for pain, inflammation, aches, anything like that that you have. Um, hi, Lauren. Yes, try it on Andy. Um, with the brief, it works wonders. Deep Blue is just all things, aches, pains, discomforts, anything like that. So um, you can use it topically in a roller bottle, or you can diffuse it too. If you're having some like head tension, you can place it on your head, mix it with lavender and peppermint. It's like the go-to head tension blend. That's why they've put all of these oils together because they have so many different blends that you could put together. Deep Blue, lavender, and peppermint head tension, anything, aches and pains. Lemon, lavender, and peppermint. All things seasonal threats. All internal and topical in a roller bottle all over the places. Um, lavender, tea tree, and frankincense. All things skin. So amazing what you can do um, with all of these oils. So that's the top 10 oils. And now we know what an essential oil is, why doTERRA is the best, right? Uh, why we use them, which can, you know, which oil can support what issue or ailment, and let me tell you how to bring the oils into your home. Like always, you can reach out to me, which is amazing. You can place a comment down that you're interested or in a hand emoji or something like that, just to let me know that you um, are down to you're down with the dough or want to get down with the dough and um you can go retail which is my website nobody really wants to pay retail you don't really want to do that you could do wholesale so you were kind of like a costco and you can choose several different oils or a few different oils however you know whatever your budget and your your specific needs are and it's a 35 dollar wholesale um access charge annually nothing monthly no obligation to sell. I'm not, I'm not gonna bother you about that. Just be a wholesale customer and enjoy your amazing oils. Below wholesale is getting started with an actual kit. So all of the top 10 oils that I spoke about today that can support 80% of your health and wellness, they come in a kit with its top, the top 10 kit. They come in the smaller bottles, which have 85 drops, and it also comes with a diffuser. And when you get started, you can, um, I send out a welcome bundle to you, which has awesome goodies. If you want to know, holler at your girl, reach out to me and I will tell you. Um, you also will be plugged into our essential oil community where we do continued education. Uh, we're a like-minded uh, community and a good vibe tribe. Also, um, you get me. So I will be there to guide and support you and teach you all of the things I give you my oily brain. And you'll never not know what to do with your oils. So don't feel overwhelmed. Essential oils are made easy. They're made to be easy and effective and convenient. And I'm your easy button. So don't ever feel like you're going to be too overwhelmed with not knowing what to do with them. With me, you're never not going to know what to do with them. I promise you. I give you all the tools and resources and always there for you. So I'm going to be back Wednesday for a very new topic, essential oils and pregnancy. So did you know pure essential oils are very effective while with child and they are natural alternatives to help support, th support you through pregnancy, through labor, even birth, and even postpartum. Um, I'll explain what essential oils can help you through that miracle of life on Wednesday evening for Wellness Wednesday, which we will have a live giveaway. All the giveaways are now only on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. So I will see you guys on Wednesday and I hope you have a great rest of your Monday. I'm going to go uh, enjoy Sanibel. Love y'all.